hello guys this is santosh and welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing right so in this tutorial i'm going to do this uh, you know pubg pan using a surface modeling workbench so as you can see here whatever this uh, major part was what you can see here uh, this is the major part here once we do this uh, all the other you know whatever the features that are available they are just an extrude and some edge blends so without wasting time so let's get started uh, i'll just go to new file here and i'll just keep it as model and everything as it is i'll just click ok so here what i'll do is i'll just go to sketch environment on this uh, particular plane and i'll just click ok so this will take you to uh, you know sketcher environment so as you can see here all the you know uh, sketcher tools are available so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, create a circle uh, with the 120 mm of uh, radius uh, sorry diameter okay so i'll just fit this and i need to create two more circles so with the 16.1 as a radius so multiply by two okay in the same way uh, two circles one on the other side and now we need to provide a distance for this so press d for taking a distance so between these two this it is 51.5 okay so same way this is also 51.5 from here so now these two circles should lie on this x-axis so i'll just press c and uh, point on a curve so this point should be on this curve and as well as this point should be on this x-axis okay so now i'll just delete the extra lines so these are the extra lines that i need uh, that i wanted to remove so press t for trimming so these this is the extra line and this is also an extra line in the same way i'm going to remove this as well okay so this is our complete uh, you know sketch uh, this is what we need uh, in the first sketch i'll just finish the sketch now so now uh, i'll just fit this so as you can see here so now i'm going to create a datum plane uh, with a distance of 20 mm so go to datum planes and you can keep it as inferred and select this and we can give the distance as 20 okay so i'll just reverse this so so that it comes on the bottom and i'll just click okay so on this uh, plane i'm going to create a sketch so i'm going to inside the sketch now okay so here i'm going to do a simple circle with a diameter of 97.7 so 97.7 is the diameter and that's it we can just finish the sketch so okay there are two circles uh, you know two profiles here so the one is here and the another one is here so we have to create a swept for these two so before creating a swept uh, i'll just go to sketch environment on this plane and i'll just create a simple line here okay and this can be any uh, distance but it should cross this whatever the second sketch we have created and i'll just finish the sketch oh, once we got these two curves and whatever the guide curves we have here so we have to go for surface modeling and swept command so this is the swept command that i'm going to use it and now what i'll do is uh, i'll just provide uh, two curves so this is my first curve and uh, this is my second curve so these are the two curves and one guide curve so this is my guide curve okay now as you can see here this is in a, uh, in a clockwise direction and this is in an anti-clockwise direction so we have to make these two in the same direction so what i'll do is i'll just flip this so make sure that these two are in the same direction you can see here both are in the same direction okay so now uh, you can see here once we see the model uh, whatever the body that is generated is not proper and in order to make it properly we have to align the points so how we can align that points we can just go to sections view shop options here and here there is an alignment so instead of parameters select the points okay so once you select the points so you can see here the points that are already there uh, it has been shown here so instead of you know uh, modifying this what i'll do is i'll just go to reset okay so now uh, let me delete these points so this is the first point and uh, now this is okay this is the second point and this is the third point so all these points i'm going to delete it 
and i'll just give the points manually okay so all the points are deleted so now i have to create a points in such a way that uh, the first point is here and the aligning point over here and the second point is over here and the aligning point over here so in that case if we create uh, the whatever the body it has been created it will be in proper manner so what i'll do is i'll just select this so for this corresponding point will be created at this point so what i'll do is i'll just move it okay so this has to be moved and it has to be kept at 52 so we can just give 52 here okay why i am giving 52 i'll just explain it later so here i'm going to give and now for this point this is the correspondence so this i will give 48 so it will exactly come here and now for this again one more point i'm going to create here and this is the point corresponding point so it should be created at two distance okay so one more point at this so this should be at 98 percentage so consider uh, this circle as a 100 percentage so this arc is 100 percentage and whatever the you know points that we are creating at 2% uh, and then 48%, 52% and 92 percentage. So in that way, uh, it will create a proper uh, body. So once you rotate it and you see it, you can see here, whatever the body that we have required, it has been um, developed. So now we can just script, uh, okay. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to shell. Uh, here is the shell, we can just go to home and shell. I'll just go to open shell and select this face. So 3mm is the thickness, you can just click OK. So now you can see here, uh, the complete model, whatever it is required, it has been already uh, completed. So now uh, we have to queue some sketches and the always we can, we can do a handle here. So this side handle and uh, we can just, so now we are left with only handle. So we can just create that by using one more sketch. So before going to do that, I'll just queue an edge blend here so let me give 5 mm as an edge blend okay so all these four side i'm going to provide 4 mm uh, 5 mm edge blend okay so i'll just click okay so i don't want these sketches now i'll just hide them So now what I'll do is I'll just go to sketcher environment again on this particular plane. And I'll just click OK. So now what I have to do is I have to project these edge curves. So for that I'll just go to project curve and keep it associative. These two curves I wanted to project and these two curves as well I wanted to project. I'll just click OK. So these are the two projected curves. So here I'm going to draw an, uh, you know, handle. So go to sketcher environment. Here I'm going to draw profile here. So this radius is 35 mm. Okay. And also there is uh, one more arc here like this. So it is of uh, 97. Okay. And there is one more arc sorry arc which is of uh, 10 mm radius okay so now whatever this edge and this edge should be tangent so i'll just press c and make them tangent okay and whatever this point is there it should lie on this uh, y axis so point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve okay now uh, let me hide this i'll just trim this extra line and here as well okay now uh, i'll just provide a distance so press d the distance between this point to this center line is 10 mm and the distance between this point to this center line is 95 
okay so there are three uh, auto dimensions that are left these are the two dimensions and uh, one more is this okay okay so this distance we can give 12.5 mm from this uh, center point so we can just select this and this so this is 12.5 okay so now we are left with only these two auto dimensions so we can keep it as it is uh, let me give dimension here so this is 3 mm okay so now whatever these two curves are there i'm going to mirror them so go to mirror and select these two curves and mirror it this y axis okay click okay so i'm going to extend this and make them concentric okay so now you can see here sketch is fully constrained and whatever the all the dimensions are there we have already provided and now we are left with the uh, top portion of the sketch so what I'll do is I'll just uh, go to line here, sorry, profile, you can create a profile. So this is the profile that I need and I'll just make a point on a curve. So this point should be on this curve in the same way this point should be on this curve. Okay and i'm going to make a symmetric so these two should be symmetric to this line okay and now there is a distance here so distance between these two points should be 30 mm okay and the distance between this point to the x axis is 70 okay so now the whatever this distance is 18 mm okay so now sketch is fully constrained so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, offset the curves so go to offset and this is the first offset okay so this is the offset curve and the distance is uh, 3 mm and i just click ok and now whatever this texture line is there i'll just trim it off okay so this is the you know curve that uh, we need on the top side and this is the sketch that we need in the bottom side okay so now sketch is fully constrained i'll just uh, finish the sketch so let me go to extrude now and i'm going to select this handle now properly so I'll just give one mm. This should be none, and start selecting. Uh, keep it as connected curves and uh, stop at intersection. So I'm going to select this. Okay. So it should be in minus two mm. So it has to go down. So I'll just provide minus two mm, and let me unite this with this particular body. Let's finish. Okay. The same way I'm going to go to same way I have to do it on the other side as well. So go to extrude and select these curves, connected curves. Okay, so I have to make this curve touch uh, this uh, internal uh, curve. So I'll just go to sketch arrangement again. And uh, now what I'll do is I'll just extend this line until the next point. Okay, so let me give this dimension. That's 30 okay so i'll just finish this you know. so let me go to extrude again now and now i'm going to select this curves okay okay so it should be minus two and it should be united with this body click okay so both side we have got this and we are left with uh, some of the edge blends so let us give those edge blends as well so go to edge blend now and here it is 8 mm 
these two sides it is 8 mm and apply and all these sides are uh, with 1 mm so go to 1 mm and uh, select these edges this select the bottom and here as well okay so you can just click apply and now it is 2.5 mm over here and as well as this side okay click apply and now uh, we have to give 1 mm more here so give 1 mm here and as well as the bottom side okay click apply and then we have to give the edge blend at this point so this you can just drag it okay this is good i'll just click okay and now um, we are left with one more edge blend so inside this we can just provide 3 mm okay click okay so all the edge blends are done so now we are only left with the uh, the text that is pubg that is written over here so that we can do it now so what i have to do is i'll just go to curves so curve is not all available here so i'll just activate it by going here and here is a text so go to text and we can keep it as a planar so the plane is this plane okay and now the text is pubg so that is enough and we can keep it as aerial black and western and regular and here this should be uh, middle center so that it will be middle center and now we have to align this to this point so whatever this point i'll just keep it at over here so it is exactly at the center now so let me go to top view okay so here we have to provide this uh, you know uh, length and height so the length and height will be so the length is uh, 57 and height is 12 mm okay so that's all we have um, we can just click okay so now whatever the text that we have created uh, we'll make a extrude for that i'll just go to extrude and i'm going to select this sketch sorry text and now uh, this should be 17.5 so minus 17.5 okay so it is going and uh, beyond this pan now we have to remove this so i'll just q remove and i'll just click okay okay so this is the one and now uh, we have to go to sketcher in moment on this particular plane again and here i'm going to create a rectangle so it should be from the center so this rectangle I'm going to create okay so this should be let me give a dimension for this so press D this is 70 mm and this is 28 mm okay so now what i'll do is i'll just go to offset and offset these two and it should be inside with 3 mm and you can just click okay so now i'll just create some of the you know rectangles here at the corner so go to rectangle here and you can keep it easy 
okay so let me give dimension for this so this is 2 mm and this is also 2 mm and the between this to this point it is 1 mm distance okay so this i am going to pattern it on the all the four side so go to pattern uh, sorry guys we can do it by mirror so go to mirror and select this rectangle and by x axis click apply and now we are going to select these two and make a mirror with y axis okay so now uh, we can finish the sketch in the same way we have to remove the material for uh, this as well so i'll just go to extrude and here we are going to select connected curve and stop at intersection so this is the one curve okay and this is the second curve okay so this is also same uh, whatever uh, it is extrude length is minus 17.5 and you can just click okay okay so that's all uh, uh, this is how we can make this pubg pen so we can hit ctrl w and switch off everything and just show solid bodies so this is the way how we can make this pubg model guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i'll try to answer thank you guys